Good day, Warrior fans! Welcome back to day two of focusing on Sunstar. Today, my older sister Rachel is going to draw a scene from Sunstar's life, and I, Lily, will tell you with voiceover the story and theories behind the drawing. A lot of you have been asking what program Rachel uses to draw and record these speed paints. Well, I asked her and she said that she uses Adobe Photoshop CS6 and a screen recording program called Roxio. And as far as technology, she has a Dell Inspiron touchscreen computer and uses a Wicom Intuos Pro Medium tablet. Hopefully that answered some of your questions. If you have any more, feel free to ask them down below and I'll answer them in these speed paints. For future reference, I'll be adding all of this information of what Rachel uses to draw to the descriptions of these speed paints from now on. All that business aside, let's get down to today's drawing of Sunfall's sadly watching Moonflower. This scene isn't physically in any of the books, but we created it based off inference and the canon confirmation from the Aaron Hunters that Sunfall had feelings for Blue Star's mom, Moonflower. But they never became mates during life because Moonflower had kits with Stormtail which Moonflower's brother Goosefeather advised her not to do. In Blue Star's Prophecy, Stormtail is shown to be kind of a jerk. He's a bad mate to Moonflower and a very distant father, and he's constantly flirting with Dapplepaw, even when Moonflower is right there. I imagine that this behavior started soon after Moonflower became pregnant. Stormtail wasn't truly committed to his mate, and he found it awkward to be tied down to being a father. When Blue Kit and Snow Kit were born, their father wasn't very present in their life, hardly making an appearance and treating them like strangers to him. I'll read this scene from Blue Star's Prophecy where Blue Kit and Snow Kit first meet their father to show you what an absentee father he was. It's on pages 27 through 35 if you want to follow along. Moonflower glanced at the gorse barrier. He promised he'd be back from hunting by sun high. Beside the nettle patch, a large tom with a pelt as fiery as the sun was sharing prey with three warriors. Is that Sunfall? Blue Kit asked. Uh-huh. Why couldn't Stormtail come to the nursery to see us? Snow Kit whined. Adderfang's always coming to the nursery to see Patch Kit and Leopard Kit. He even brought them a mouse last time. Your father came to see you as soon as you were born. He's a very important warrior, so he doesn't have time to bring you treats. Blue Kit scrunched up her eyes as she glanced at the sun. It was almost directly overhead. Stormtail would be there soon. Moonflower stiffened. He's here. Where? Sit down. Sit up straight. Blue Kit thought if she sat up any straighter, she'd topple over backwards. But she held herself as stiffly as she could until Stormtail's gaze finally reached them. Stormtail, come meet your kids. Stormtail padded towards them and halted. Uh, they look better with their eyes open, I guess. Do you see? They both have blue eyes like you. Yeah! Blue Kit stretched her eyes wider so that her father could admire them. But he hardly seemed to glance at her before he turned back to Moonflower. Uh, they look like they'll make good warriors. Of course they will. They're your kids. Blue Kit's gaze wandered to the warrior's den. The branches quivered and Adderfang padded out. With muse of delight, Leopard Kit and Patch Kit pounced on him. Leopard Kit clung to her father's tail while Patch Kit landed squarely on his shoulders. Adderfang staggered, and with an exaggerated grunt of surprise, collapsed dramatically to the ground. Leopard Kit and Patch Kit leaped onto his belly, squeaking, but Adderfang tumbled them off with a purr and chased them away behind the den. Stormtail glanced towards the commotion, his ears twitching. Blue Kit thought perhaps that he was imagining playing with his own kits like that. Ugh, once he got to know them better. Ugh, Pine Stars asked me to share prey with him, Stormtail told Moonflower. Now? Is he leaving already? Can we come with you? Stormtail's gaze flashed towards her, and she flinched when she saw a mixture of alarm and discomfort in his eyes. Doesn't he like this? Uh, Kit should stay near the nursery, he muttered. Blue Kit's heart sunk as he turned and padded away, and then swelled with hope as he paused and looked back over his shoulder. Had he changed his mind? Uh, Stonepelt told me you woke him up yesterday. Stay out of the warrior's den. And then he swung his head around and walked off. Blue Kit stared after him, hollow with disappointment. He must be a really, really important warrior if Pine Star wants to share prey with him. He, he is. He'll probably have more time for you guys later. So yeah, Stormtail was a jerk. He couldn't understand how Stormtail could be mates with such a perfect cat, such as Moonflower, and not treasure her. But instead of raging, like I am, Sunfall took the higher road. Since Stormtail had little to no interest in being a father, 
Senful decided that he would always make an effort to be there for Moonflower's kits. And I think that is so kind and honorable of Sunfall. He didn't take out his jealousy on Moonflower or her kits for not choosing him as her mate. He just stepped in and did the right thing. And he was a good influence on Blue Star. I'd love to hear in the comment section down below what you think of what Sunfall did. Stepping in and being a father figure to another Tom's kits. He's a complete 180 away from what Ashford did with Squirrel Flight's kits. <laughs> Don't you think? Let's just all agree that Sunstar is the best and that he deserves a lot more recognition. In fact, you guys can help with that. Go and share these speed paints and get him some more recognition. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to go and check out the video over on the side of my last speed paint and click that subscribe button so you can always be notified when I make my next video. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon with the next speed paint. Bye-bye.